This is a simple way to create a frame to use in Sparkbooth Layout Creator 4.0. First off, open up one of the single folders with images from one of your photo booths and open up one of the photos in a program called Earthen View. Earthen View is a free program on the internet found at irfanview.com. It has a lot of features. It's mainly set up to view photo images and within the program itself you can grab on the image and in this case we're going to add a frame or a border around it. There are many different frame options here for colors, size, and stuff that you can play with. And I'm just going to grab a regular black and white frame, uh, something similar to black and gray border. Uh, I'm going to make the border frame a little wider here. Let's make this a five. Okay, on the outer edge, we'll make uh, size number three a eight. On the inner edge, We'll make this one a, a 10 instead of 15. Okay. And the frame number, let's make this a 4. Okay. Once I click OK, it'll create a frame and place the frame around the outside of this actual image. Now, all we're going to really need is the inner portion of this image. So we are going to clear out the picture on the inside. Now, in Earthen View, I need to cut the picture out of the middle of it, but if I were to just cut it out, it would make it black, and I can't clear out black without losing my black frame. So I'm going to go into Edit and show the Paint dialog box, which brings up the paint box over here. And down here on the bottom, we've got two different boxes, and I make them both the same color by clicking on one, clicking on the other, and that color is going to be the same color, a color that is not the color of the border. Once I've done that, I select the box up here, and just inside that black line, I'll make a box the size of the photo, and it will replace that photo with the blue color. Okay? Once I've done that, then I will say I will clear the paint dialog box and I'm going to save this image as a PNG file. I click on file, save as, and I'm going to save it as a PNG type file. The reason for that is I can make the file transparent so that the blue area in the middle is transparent. I'll name it black frame dot png and save it where I can find it in this case to my desktop I also want to make sure in the upper right side here under png it has save transparent color when I hit save it brings up the box in the middle asking me what do I want to be transparent, what color. I click on the blue in the middle and it will save it to my desktop. Now back on my desktop I now have the frame, black frame with a transparent center. I will now open up Spark Booth 4.0 and we'll go into the layout creator and add this frame to a layout. I open up the Sparkbooth program, go into layouts, and select the layout that I want to add a frame to. And with the built-in layout creator, I click on it. And I'm going to put a frame over each one of these photo boxes. Up here at the top, it has image file that I'll click and go to where I have that black frame click on the black frame and click open 
as you can see here this black frame is way bigger than the photos but it will proportionately reduce the size of it that will fit right around the frame the photo boxes as long as this frame is smaller than this frame this picture box is 570 wide and this box needs to be slightly smaller so that it'll fit over the top I place it where I feel that it is perfectly placed and then I'll preview it here by clicking on the preview eye at the top of the screen as you can see here it has opened it up into my previewer image previewer in this case it was Irfan view and you'll see a black frame around the photo box I'll close this window and go back into the layout creator now that I know that frame is the right size I can click on the frame hold down the control key and the C key hit the C key to copy the frame next hit the control key and the V key to paste a new identical frame onto the screen so I can place it on top of another box I will do the same thing control V creating additional frames and placing them over the top of the different photo boxes and centering them precisely where they need to be until I have one on each one of the frames once I have placed a frame on each one of the photo boxes I can re-preview the screen again and it'll show all six have a frame around them so that's a simple way to actually add frames you can get a lot more elaborate with different types of frames that you've created once you're happy with the frame set exactly the way you want it I would suggest you export the layout to save it so that you can use it again later on make other changes to it and then once you've saved the export file SBL file then you can just close the image it'll go back into the photo layouts with your six new frames added to the photo boxes that's it